Hi, this is Andrew Doeg, and I'm taking a look at the Spatial History Project by Stanford University here. Uh, what I want to do at first is just give you a quick overview of the website, and after that I'm going to take a look at two of the different things that they're currently working on, one that's pretty good in my opinion, one that's not so good. Uh, so first, right here we have uh, some links, you know, that'll bring you to uh, fuller pages to you know, that go into detail about things, you know, here's the about us and all that. But you can pretty much get to whatever you need to go to from this main page. Uh, to my right, there's an overview of all the people involved in the project. The main people are uh, Douglas and Rebecca Bird. Um, in the center, it gives you the updates on what's going on with their different projects. And the most convenient part is on the left, it shows you their recent publications and their current projects and these are different visualizations down here for these projects that they're working on uh, this was uh, the visualization that I was most impressed with it was for their social unrest surrounding Chilean aquaculture product uh, visualization for their Chile's Aquaculture Industry 1950 to 2000 project. Uh, when you click here, it's going to come up. It's going to tell you about this visualization. What it's basically showing you is the different uh, protests that have happened with the expansion of uh, salmon farming in this area. And it's pretty interesting. You can click on each one of these, and it breaks down the different groups uh, protesting and the different areas where it happened and even more convenient for scholars is uh, an instant link to their work cited to create this and that's really good it's really straightforward and clear I like that um, now one of their projects that I'm not impressed with and it was just started in September of 2010 last year so Maybe they haven't had time to really work on it as much as they could have, or maybe they're going to work on it more in the future. But this is the Cigarette Citadels project, and basically their goal is to emphasize where cigarette manufacturers are. I'm not sure exactly what the point of that is, but that's what they say in the overview. It's to... Uh, because there's a current lack of visual recognition of cigarette factories, they're going to show us them. Uh, there's just really nothing clear on this website, and I'm not sure what it's trying to argue or what it's... Well, I mean, it said it's trying to sh show us the factories. I'm not really sure what the point is there. And just on the page, they have this big picture with different clickables, and I can't really tell what what's going on here what I'm supposed to do and then when you just click on one of them it kinda takes you to just a plain Google Maps page it's not the best looking thing and takes you away from the actual website you're on and then it just shows you a picture of a cigarette factory in Mexico here the British American tobacco and it just kinda leaves me confused and wondering what the point of this project really is So there are good things and bad things that they're working on right now, in my opinion, but as far as the actual website goes, I think it's uh, very clearly presented and lets you look at all different kinds of things that they're working on. So overall, I really like the website and I like a lot of the things that they're doing.